All right, we're back. Today we're checking out a new flight controller. And this is a flight controller that I got to go on a 1S quad. And it turns out it doesn't work with 1S. So I'm just gonna let you guys know. Um, I decided to do this video just because of that reason. Because online, I've only seen this flight controller at one store and that's Flex RC. Okay, and on their website, the only thing it says about the voltage is up to 3S. That's all it says. So in my mind, I think up to 3S means 1S, 2S, and 3S. But that's not the case. It does not work on 1S. So if you want to do a 1S build, do not get this flight controller. 2S and 3S only. And the way that I found that out is I hooked it up to a power and ground and then I checked it with my multimeter. And there's a 5 volt pad on here and there is, if any of you don't know, um, the boot pads. Here's the boot pads right here. And for anybody that doesn't know, boot pads are always 3.3 volts. So if you ever need that for spectrum, you can always grab it off the boot pad. So there's the boot pads right here. Um, so I checked it with my multimeter. The boot pad was 2.2 volts. Then I checked the uh, 5 volt pad over here. And that was like 3 volts. So I was like, what the hell's going on? And I was, I had it hooked up to this quad right here. With uh, this connector, the 2.0 connector and this battery. And of course, it wasn't working right. I thought there was a problem with it. So then I decided to hook up a JST and run it 2 cell. And when I did that, the 5 volt was 5 volt and the boot pad was 3.3 .3 on the dot. So obviously it's only 2 or 3S only. So uh, let's go through the pads real quick. This flight controller is very simple. I really like that about it. It's nice and clean. It looks well built. I have no idea who makes it. Not a clue. But it looks really nice. It's even uh, coated, waterproofed which is pretty awesome. It's 16 by 16 mounting holes, 20 by 20. And it has a built-in OSD. It has a built-in regulator, a huge regulator. Look at that thing. It's almost half the board. Uh, this is the bottom side. And on the bottom side, you only have four pads that you need to worry about. And they are labeled O-I-G-V. And this is for your OSD and your FPV. So all so you can keep everything separate. It's really nice. On the bottom side of the board, you got your FPV. Top side, you got your signals and everything else. So the O is video out. The I is video in. The G is ground. And the V is voltage. And the voltage is 5 volts. So... For example, you take a VTX-03, you can run the power and ground to right here, and it's going to power at 5 volts, and then you can run your camera's power off the VTX-03. Or you can run the camera and VTX power both into here. Either way, it's not going to make a difference, but I would do it the first way that I said it would be the best way. Um, most VTXs these days have a 5 volt out for your camera on them, so... Um, other side so on this side you got an arrow pointing forward telling you which way is forward right there and starting up here on this side the left side you got at the top plus and minus and that's for your powering the flight controller and like I said that's direct two or three cell then next down is a ground then S bus or PPM then you got 5 volt then your LED, and then you got TX1 and RX1. Down here, you got your buzzer pads, plus and minus for your buzzer. Right next to that is your boot pads to go into bootloader mode to flash it. And then over here on the right side, you got your signal wires. That's signal one, two, three, four, and then a ground. So very simple layout. Very easy to hook everything up. 
and it's really nice that you have those options. You got your TX pad right here, so you can run smart audio. Um, you could even run a GPS if you wanted to on this tiny thing. So pretty nice. I really like it actually. Um, I'm not too mad that I'm not going to be able to use it on my 1S build, but uh, it's not going to make a difference because I talked to the guy and he said that he wouldn't mind it being 2S. So there you go. Don't need to get a new one. Uh, I'll leave a link to this down below. And uh, don't buy them all up because I want some more too. So, All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm not done yet. I was going to talk about a couple of frames too since we're on the 16x16 16 16 subject. So I got this uh, Toma Quad Sidewinder. Uh, and I got this ReadyMade RC Newt. So I was going to use 16x16 16 16 in both of these. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to use 20x20 20 20 in this one. Just because I have some 20x20 20 20 stuff laying around that I'm going to use up. So, But I am going to use some small motors like some 1102 DYSs. And make it a 2 cell. But this frame is real sturdy. I really like it. It's real tough feeling. It's real stiff. The arms don't bend that easily. And front to back it definitely doesn't bend. It's got that carbon plate and it's super thick up under there. So it's really tough. I think this is going to be a fun little quad. I really like how the uh, camera mount is built into this top piece here. So you just bend it over and screw it in to the camera and that's how it holds your camera pretty cool I was thinking about using an all-in-one camera maybe just to make it super light I want to make the lightest I can so pretty cool design I like it but it does have a 16 by 16 and 20 by 20 mounting and uh it only fits 110X, which is, I believe, 8x8 or 12x12. I can't remember. Something like that. I think it's 12x12. Why don't I just check? Nope, it's 8 or 9. Shit, I don't even know, man. 9x9. The Newt is going to be pretty cool too. This is all you get, but it was only five bucks. So pretty cool. It's like three millimeters thick. <laughs> pretty awesome. I mean, that's the skinniest arms you'll ever see. It's a three inch. So it swings three inch props. 16 by 16 or 20 by 20. Uh, I'm probably going to throw one of these in here too. Do a 16 by 16 stack. And then uh, I got one of these camera mounts off Banggood. It has a 45 degree, so it'll work on there nicely, right on top of the stack. So this this will be just a real simple, super light 2s, three inch. It's gonna be pretty awesome. But I'll uh, have a video when I build it up. This one as well. All right, that's all I got.